at Fort Myers Beach, right? I mean, most of us. Well, on the other side of the island, there is a house that's sitting on thousands of years of history. Yeah, this week's Wild About Southwest Florida meteorologist Jess Lavrince takes us to the Mound House. Good morning, Jess. Hey, guys. Good morning. Yeah, a lot of people have no idea. It's tucked back there on Connecticut Street. Thousands of years ago, the Calusa natives were here in southwest Florida, and the Mound House is located on an old Calusa town, but the Mound isn't just an ordinary hill. Take a look. Positioned on the back bay of Fort Myers Beach, atop the highest point on the island, sits a two-story home facing the mangroves and the water. It may just look like a normal home perched on a hill, but below its floorboards lie thousands of years of history of the Calusa natives. The entire property that we have here today, the Mound House, as it's affectionately called, it's a little bit more complex than just a house on a mound. It's made up of layers upon layers of shells for over 2,000 years. Oysters, conchs, clams, built generation by generation by the Calusa. The Calusa people, also known as the Shell Indians, forge tools and weapons from scavenged shells. It has multiple functions. Can you think of some possible functions you might use that for if you're living here in the village? The only thing I can think of is like... When their purpose was served, they became part of the layer that built up the mound. And you can see that layering firsthand in the underground museum. So this room that you can see shows an archaeological excavation. You're looking at a slice of history. Each layer is a moment in time, a core sample of a village. Each stained shell tells a story of Southwest Florida's first inhabitants. So that is leftover charcoal from someone's campfire. 800, 600 years ago. Some may think that the mound is a trash pile, but it's far from it. It took a lot of engineering to construct the mound to not sink in and withstand 2,000 years of hurricanes. Textbook stratification. The mound house is the oldest structure on the island, built by the Case family in the 1900s. It was actually the area's post office in its heyday. We have our replica 1909 living room. This is how the Case family would have had the house. That then you can head upstairs to see the exhibits and artifacts of the Calusa. You can see things like hammers, fishing nets, and pottery, which you'll notice aren't as colorful as other famous native cultures. The pottery here in Florida often joked by archaeologists as the Tupperware state, as most okay. pottery was used for food storage, mm -hmm. um, so there's not too many ornate decorations. And something really cool, how about trying out spear throwing? This object is called an atlatl, A-T-L, A-T-L. Okay. And this object basically gives you an extension to your arm. So of course, I wanted to try. <laughs> okay. I felt it. And if spear throwing isn't your thing, maybe a relaxing paddle is more your vibe. Paddling around the mangroves of the estuary, you can see the environment the Calusa ventured and lived in. Go on, buddy, fly! Oh, I'm sorry. About 150 Calusa lived here before Spanish contact. After that, U.S. Latino settlers came to live on Estero Island, and it became a fishing village in the 17 and 1800s. Eventually, the Anglo-Americans moved in and were here until about the 50s. Three different cultures resided here on the mound, full of artifacts, history, stories, and a whole lot of shells. There is something here at the mound house for everyone to get wild about. Now, the house is open to the public, but you'll have to wait about another month or so to head to the underground museum. Hurricane Ian flooded out the downstairs and took out the electrical. However, because of the engineering from the Calusa, the house itself on top of the mound only took in about an inch of water. You can find out more about the mound house on our website, abc-7.com. Coming up on more Explore.